Hello everyone and welcome back to Russia Conquest Part 2. I am back from my trip after being gone from home for like 5 days or so. So, I am not gonna explain and get into what happened and everything because I will do that next week on my stream. I know that some of you guys can be somewhat impatient on YouTube. A lot of you don't like explanations, but that's how every YouTube video is. Just so you guys can be mindful, I have things to talk about, so I apologize. But I won't get into my trip or anything like that because I'll leave that off for Twitch. Um, so Russia Conquest Part 1, I did that last week before my trip. Um, I had a great time, enjoyed it. And thankfully, I'm back home safe. I'm pretty exhausted, so I didn't want to stream at all this week. However, the best that I can do for you guys on YouTube is to upload a video today and also possibly tomorrow. And then from next week, things will be back to normal with, you know, streaming on Twitch and uploading YouTube content. So if you haven't followed me on Twitch, there's a link below. Thank you so much. If you have subscribed, also thank you. It means a lot means that my channel is still growing and being steady and growing strong. Did I say that already? I don't know. But in part one, um, someone mentioned that I forgot to place garrisons and that is correct. I forgot to put garrisons. So that's a silly move that I completely forgot to do. So I should probably add garrisons. <laughs> I completely forgot about garrisons. I overlooked it. I don't know how I overlooked it. The AI is already adding garrisons for me, but I'm going to do that right now. Um, there was a update for Supreme Lord 2030, by the way, and currently my version of the save is outdated. However, the game runs fine. There's nothing wrong, so I shouldn't have any problems. However, there has been an update, and uh, there's a bunch of other things that have been added and fixed with bugs and whatnot. However, this is like a previous version, so this is what I'm going to be playing with uh, as this Let's Play goes on. I'm just adding a couple of garrisons around here. But there shouldn't be any crashes or hiccups here and there. The game should run fine. Got all these messages that I should delete. There was also another comment saying how... Is there a way to do front lines like in Hearts of Iron 4? Or is it always a click and drag fest? Well, Hearts of Iron I am not a fan of, just to let you know. And I don't really know that much about Hearts of Iron anymore. But I think you can do offensives and defensive positions in Supreme Ruler. I mean, just line up your units and just place them there in defensive positions and just hold, hold on. And uh, defend to the best of your ability or just push on. Um, as you can see... This was my fault. I did not add garrisons in the beginning. I just overlooked it. That was a silly mistake. But now the AI and myself are adding uh, garrisons all around different villages and cities here. My units are currently in repair, by the way. Are heading for repair. Yeah, that's my fault. I might have to deploy, like... These tips are so bothersome. Deploy more reserves, I think. That's what I might do here. I got plenty of reserves. Defend Orel. Algeria has declared war. Looks like it pauses every time there's a war. What's this? Algeria has declared war in Kenya. Oh, someone also mentioned, because this is the 2023 world scenario, the current world <laughs> geopolitical situation is nato is nato here and that's a good question which i'm gonna look at so germany oh here we go yes okay so 54 allied nations nato is here so if i attack one nation I'm not saying that every NATO nation is gonna is gonna declare war on me, but they're gonna be sending units towards that NATO nation. And so my goal here, in case you don't know, is to annex all of the ex-Soviet states. Just like I did back in 2020. 
However, because Estonia, Latvia, and Lithuania are part of NATO, I might have to think of a different tactic, a different strategy there, because I really do not want to go to war with all of these NATO nations. That is not the goal. That is not the plan. I don't want this Let's Play to drag on. I want to keep it sweet and simple, just like it did back in 2020. We'll see how things go from here. Get them surrounded over here. Alright, got my reinforcements back. My main arsenal of units. They are ready. Oh, that's Belarus. Wow. I'm gonna have to continue with the Donbass front here, I think. Algeria, again, war, Western Sahara. I'm gonna have to change that because it keeps pausing my game. I might be in the options menu. Here we go. What is that noise? Oh, naval ships are being attacked somewhere. <clears throat> um, so, <laughs> some people do not like some of the things about Supreme Ruler, like the constant clicking in the game. Uh, that's just how Supreme Ruler is for me, or how I play. I like to be on top of things, and uh, I really don't want to let up on the offensives on any type of front. So that's why you hear a lot of clicking back and forth. And that's how it always has been for me since the 2020 days. Just constant clicking back and forth, trying to uh, keep track of my units, and so on and so forth. But I don't understand how some people might not like Supremo, maybe because they prefer something much more complex and slow paced compared to Hearts of Iron. I do not like that at all. I do not like slow paced or just... I, I can't figure out anything about Hearts of Iron, but uh, it's not for me. I'm sorry to say. India. On Pakistan, that's a huge war there. Look, India, Pakistan. Oh, they're coming back again with more units. This is going to be a long war here, I think. I'm pretty positive. If you want to look at the patches or the updates of the new update, then you can. I'm pretty positive that someone probably might have done a video. Battlegold Studios already giving an overview of what the update includes now. I got to read it myself. I did update my game. But I will get to reading it later after this video. And as for tomorrow's video, by the way, I forgot to mention. There's the artillery unit. Hang on. This is it. India, Afghanistan. They're going crazy over there. Alright. That's what I needed to do. Just destroy their artillery units. That was the big pain right there. <clears throat> Destroy more infantry units here and there. Let's try to capture this village here. Now I wonder if in the new update, the new patch, it stops the music from resetting in the background. I find that kind of a problem too, to be honest. They just won't let up here, huh? <clears throat> 
It's so noticeable. Algeria, Gambia, stop pausing the game. All right, hang on. I got to look at the uh, options here. Show. Let's see. Map. Auto pitch. Water visual effects. Messages. Pause on events. There we go. All right. That should do it. I should rather take this road rather than go through a Kharkiv. I'm not sure why I'm going through Kharkiv, but I'm going to give up on this front. I'm, this time, I am going to add garrisons, though, just to let you know. I will be adding several garrisons in my, around my positions, especially Kursk. Especially Kursk. I don't want to lose Kursk anymore. But this time, I'm going to head straight down for Kyiv here. While I'm at it, I'm going to take the rest of Kursan here. This nuclear factory there. Reconnect with Crimea. Gather more reinforcements. Bring them all up to speed. Not sure why the AI is sending that unit. I don't even know what the unit is doing over there, but that's fine. North Korea has declared war on Georgia. That doesn't make any sense. Speaking of which, I should probably make an alliance here. <laughs> Not declare war. That's the last thing I want with China. Um, formal alliance. Alright, maybe that'll come later. But, here we go. What I don't want is a... Uh, is a mutual defense treaty with any of these nations. Just because then they'll come and assist me and that's not the that's not part of the video it's not part of the plan i don't want any assistance from china or uh <laughs> any other nation here i'll figure that out later here we go syria iran blah 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 venezuela cuba wow even cuba doesn't like well it's 20 oh it's 2023 so all right there we go i'll gather the other or gather the rest of the alliances later. Hey, an achievement! Friendship. Sign an alliance treaty. There we go. We're going to defend that bridge now. Now, I don't recall how many parts Russia Conquest had back in 2020. I should look back at it. Because this is gonna... What happened to Kursk here? I lost it that quick. What happened to my garrisons? Usually, when you're just adding garrisons at the start, your garrisons will instantly be destroyed. So they need time. Yeah, they need time to be placed there. That's what happened. I'm running out of reserve personnel too. Which is not looking good. However, my treasury is healthy. Oh, there's the rest of the artillery units. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. Highland, clear war in South Korea. Push onwards. I want to make as much progress as possible here in this part two. Again, guys, I won't tell you how to play your game. I play the game I see fit the way I find it. <laughs> uh, fun to play. I play my games casually, unlike other people that, you know, do take the game much more serious and are very deep, nitty gritty into the details on what they want to do and how they want to build stuff. I'm not like that. I just like to play for fun and yeah, my reserve personals are really running low now. Nonetheless, I still get by with the game and I get the job done. <laughs> so I don't know how many parts this will be done in but i can tell you that it's going to continue well into maybe 30 40 parts or beyond if you're enjoying this russia conquest let's play and if you are leave a like in the video 
Uh, I also want to thank each and every person that has been <laughs> watching my videos uh, recently. Liking them, subscribing. Thank you so much. I'm glad that you're enjoying the Supreme Ruler content. It means so much that all of you are taking the time to comment and like and watch my Supreme Ruler 2030 videos. Now that I'm officially back here uploading daily content for Supreme Ruler. And that say and the same goes for on Twitch. I will be back streaming 2030 on Twitch included. I got my grease let's play that I want to continue there. And it seems that Western Sahara has been eliminated by Algeria, surprisingly. Well, they did have a small open border, but it looks like Western Sahara has been annexed. I don't think Morocco will like that at all. But I never mentioned the video that I was trying to upload tomorrow. Um, it'll be US versus Canada and Mexico. That's what I that's what I was thinking about. It's been on it's been on my mind since yesterday. I also apologize for uh, trying to speak as quick as possible right now. Only because I am still exhausted from my five-day trip from the convention that I had a lot of fun in with my friends. And I also helped them and his girlfriend move to their new apartment. So that made things even worse. It was very hot, humid, very um, sweaty um, since I was also cosplaying. But overall, I had a lot of fun and I can't wait to do it again. So that's why I'm trying to focus as much as possible here. We can support China here. They declared war on Taiwan. Vietnam declared war on North Korea. Wow. I'll condemn them. Algeria declares war on Somalia. So we got a lot of action going on around the world here. Let's check India and Pakistan real quick. But yeah, US versus Canada and Mexico is for tomorrow. Just to let everyone know. And I've got a bunch of other verses and Let's Plays coming to you live in the coming weeks and months so be on the lookout for all of my 2030 content all right Kiev is right there we can see it <laughs> it's in our doorsteps not really but you know just a couple more miles away I just want to gain more territory here gather more supplies in the region just for us Gather more troops, rally more troops. Kursk, I think Kursk should be a, should be fine. So let me just, I'm gonna keep these units here on standby. Any other units? Oh, here we go. More reinforcements, just in case. Israel declares war on a Democratic Republic of Yemen. Is that like South Yemen? Cause there's like three of them. Yeah, it's basically South Yemen. If you guys have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. Um, I will be happy to uh, answer them because I answer to all of my uh, all of my comments. In case you don't know, so thank you again for all of you that are leaving comments. It means so much. Whether good or bad, I appreciate it. <laughs> I appreciate all the comments, guys. So thank you. Alrighty then. Looks like the Donbass front has taken a pause here, so what I'm going to do is just continue with another front here towards, uh... I'm not even going to pronounce that, but you know where that city is. And so do I. China on India! Whoa. How is my relations with India? Not good, so I'll have to support China here. Maybe I can, uh... Get an alliance here with China now? I can. Nice. All right, do that. And I'm also gonna take the time to uh, build some factories while I'm at it. Let's see, here we go. As I said earlier in the video, my treasury is very healthy, so I shouldn't worry about it now. I got plenty of cash in my reserves. Oil, build some oil to here. Um, that's Kazakhstan. Here we go.
I want the deep red spots. Maximize my oil gains here. That should do. And then for power, let's try to build some nuclear factories. Or one at least. Let's see if it's a good spot. Here we go. Right by the lake. It's perfect. And then, last but not least, some food, some agriculture. It's a good spot. Ooh, that's a good spot. That's a good spot. Building a agriculture facility next to a nuclear facility is not a good idea. But hey, <laughs> you know me. I don't care. Alright, that should do for now. What's the timer on the video? 20 minutes! Ah, oh, 20 minutes, okay. Let's try to take and capture this city first. There we go. Alright, perfect. So we're eating up Ukraine's territory little by little. Let's check the view empire feature real quick. I think this is where I'll end the video for now. Ukraine is losing more of its territory. I'm mostly in control of uh, the eastern part of Ukraine now. And I'm r literally right in the doorsteps of Kyiv. So I think in part 3 is when I'll finally continue the attack and push the offensive towards the capital city. And see if we can annex Ukraine and start a new war with Moldova in part 3. So... If you're enjoying this video, guys, I'm glad to be back. I know it's been a while because of my trip, but I'm happy to be back making Supreme Lord content again. If you have any questions, leave some comments below. I'll be making a versus video tomorrow, USA versus Canada and Mexico at the same time. And much more content on Twitch and so on and so forth in the coming weeks and months. As always, subscribe, like, and I'll see you guys next time.